Hey everyone, this is Dan Charles with Daily Coin. It is Wednesday, May the 5th, and we're going to take a look at our trade of the day today. So let's get to it. Trade of the day is Bitcoin Cash. Now, the previous two days, the trade of the day, Monday, Tuesday, has been Dogecoin, Dogcoin. And so let's take a look at this quickly. Just flying. Now, let's take a look, closer look, because yesterday I was saying that if price can break above, this is around the time when I was doing the video, around 10 my time yesterday, May the 4th, and I was saying if this can break above 58, then I think it will test and potentially break the high, the 60 resistance. So you can see right here, and this is a 15 minute chart by the way right here at 1815 my time it closes above that 0.58 so right there i was very confident that this was going to take out 60 but then it hit that 60 resistance so you can see here around 1830 it hit 59.9 pulled back then it attempted again at 1915 and pulled back again but then at 1945, it really set up. It pulled back. It held the 58 support. So 58 was resistance here. It closed above it on 1815. Couldn't break through the 0 0.60 resistance. And then dropped, but held support. So remember, resistance becomes support. Support becomes resistance. And then we get this candle right here at... 1945 that really to me looked like it was going to attempt again to break through but then it did on the 20 candle and it closed above 0 0.60 and that's what really led to this huge breakout and the resistance is really now at 0 0.70 came pretty close sitting high of 0.69 but Clearly, we're having resistance issues now with 0.70. Now, let's look at this on the one hour chart. Now, just recently, last hour, price came all the way back down and rallied. That's very, very bullish. Momentum is now like it wants to break to the upside. But we got to look at the two main things here, and that is that so far, price has not been able to break back above 0 0.60 it's at 0.59 right now pulling back putting in a lower high from the hourly candle from from last hour but overall i think this could still break uh it's very interesting you can look at this on the daily and you can see right now we're below that 0 0.60 price but what an incredible move for uh for dog coin dodge coin and uh, here it is right now breaking above 0 0.60 so it's been a big move but a big move like this tells me a pullback is coming it really is it's coming here it's definitely coming but enough about this one let's take a look at bitcoin cash because this is the big mover today huge rangy breakout now bitcoin cash had a nice move really set up on april 5th broke out and really came close to that 1300 mark on april 16th hitting 1245 then pulling back and that's where we are right now we're showing resistance at 1300 always want to point out the whole numbers 13 12 1200 is going to be the support so this is such a big rangy candle and one of my rules is i don't usually enter on a big rangy candle like this i want to enter on a smaller range because if you enter on a big range the likelihood you enter and this is going to start pulling back and you don't know how far it's going to pull back so right now 1200 is going to be the support and here's an example of that look at the small ranges down here with these candles these are the setups these are the setups to get in and then you exit after a big big rangy candle because we're usually going to pull back 
So here we are with this rally, such a massive range. Now, with how hot the cryptos are, sometimes rules can be broken and things can just keep going up and up and up. But for the most part, they will go by the rules. And that is a big rangy candle like this is going to pull back. So watch that $1,200 price. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. So look at this, uh, the last several weeks. We got a nice signal on the April 5th week. This is the signal to buy the beginning of the next week, the April 12th week. Perfect setup because we broke out here, we pulled back, and then we set up. We got a nice candle touching the moving average, and price moves in a sort of a zigzag. It zigs, zags, zig, zag. It's all a breakout, pullback, breakout, pullback. Then we had this big breakout, pullback week after the big range so here's a huge rangy candle it sold off quite a bit very obvious support and resistance at the 975 mark yeah, so you can see it closed opened and closed at that 975 mark and then opened and held that for this week for this big rally here let's take a look at the monthly huge couple of months so this is a big rangy month of April and like I say you're gonna get some pullback we did pull back but you can also see we held 900 support so once it came down and hit 903 this month and then started turning around then we know that we're holding 900 support and once it starts busting through a thousand we know this is gonna be a a good move for uh, for the month and we're only five days in let's take a look at a four hour chart here there's that breakout on the four hour chart we pull back we break out we pull back slightly break out it's really going parabolic and by that I mean we're just going straight up I've talked about it before that typically price a healthy move is going to be more of a angle sort of like this as opposed to an angle like this angles like this are shorter term moves so with any trade it's always when something's just going straight up it's typically going to be one to three candles so you got one two three typically it's ready for a pullback and you can see on the four hour we're already putting in a lower high and we're below that 13 mark so it's very interesting trade of the day let's look at the one hour chart so there's the one hour chart you can see we're putting in lower highs the last couple hours and starting to pull back I mentioned supports gonna be at 12 clear resistance at at the 1300 mark we should also look at 1250 as well and we'll see if it can hold 1250 but same thing on the hourly chart we're just going parabolic here and you count the big the big move candles so this is one this would be two and then three because these you're in the range of the move so this is what I mean by three moves here's one two three pullback one two three pullback so that is the trade of the day, and that is Bitcoin Cash. But overall, the cryptocurrencies are extremely hot right now. Everything's moving. We're going to do the follow-up tomorrow, which is Thursday. So stay tuned for tomorrow's trade of the day. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.